and welcome to Tropical Weather Bulletin number 5 for May the 30th 2013. Here you can see the World Tropics um, where Hurricane Barbara has made landfall this evening, the first hurricane of the Northern Hemisphere this year. You can see it there in Mexico, it's just made landfall. Uh, Invest 91E is also still going with a 40% chance at the moment and 94B with a moderate chance out in the Bay of Bengal near the Indian coast. So let's take a look now at the Pacific Ocean satellite. You can see here Barbara now weakened to a tropical storm as it moves inland. It made landfall as a 75 mile per hour hurricane, uh, minimal category 1 storm, uh, but still de um, definitely uh, potentially life-threatening with its rains and, heavy, uh, and strong winds, heavy rains, which could lead to um, mudslides and such. Um, here's the Atlantic Ocean, a bit of a better view of uh, Barbara there, just before it made landfall, and you can also see uh, a little bit creeping into the Atlantic, and that's likely to continue as it becomes a remnant low, but more on the forecast for Barbara in a moment. The Atlantic itself remains very quiet at the moment, and into the Indian Ocean here, you can see what's left of Invest 95A just off the Oman coast, and 94B still with a moderate chance in the northern Bay of Bengal, not too far from the Indian-Bangladeshi border. So let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures at the moment. You can see here in the eastern Pacific, sea temperatures remain warm, 30 degrees or more in many areas to the south of Mexico. In the Atlantic, the Caribbean and parts of the Gulf of Mexico, 28 degrees or above here now. Um, and into the North Indian Ocean, still very warm waters here, 32 degrees perhaps along the Indian coastline, the East Indian coastline, and 30 degrees plus in many areas of the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea as well. So let's take a look at Tropical Storm Barbara. Here she is with wind speeds of 60 miles per hour and a current air pressure of 993 millibars um, as of the 5pm PDT update on May the 29th. And you can see here the forecast for it is to become a remnant low over the next 24 to 36 hours and move just over uh, the very far south of the Gulf of Mexico um, towards the end of the forecast period. Tropical storm warnings remaining in effect for Salina Cruz to Boca de Pijijirapan in Mexico. Um, I probably got the pronunciation wrong, but hey, I had a go. Invest 91E here with wind speeds of 35 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,006 millibars, currently with a 40% chance of development. And you can see the track forecast here according to computer models to curve towards the northeast, towards the Mexican coast. Probably not. Um, getting as far as landfall before it gets absorbed or dissipates or becomes a remnant or something like that. Here's Hurricane Barbara making landfall. Um, many more uh, different types of loops being shown here just for the occasion. Um, and you can see definitely where it popped an eye out just before making that landfall along the Mexican coastline here. as a 75 mile per hour category 1 storm. You can see it especially here on this uh, rainbow imagery where the storm uh, wrapped its eye wall around there and a little eye developed there on the visible imagery just as it made landfall along the Mexican coastline within the hurricane warning area. Um, so hopefully people along the coastline and inland as well are prepared for the heavy rains that will ensue from this storm along with the storm force winds, perhaps hurricane force winds along the coastline with even higher gusts than that. So now let's look towards uh, the next storm, Invest 91E, here it is. You can see the centre of the storm here, partially or completely exposed at times, uh, but clouds trying to wrap around the centre of the storm as they do with tropical systems. Um, obviously having a bit of a struggle on its hands, Invest 91E there, but still with a 40% chance of development as of the upload time. And here's Invest 94B just off the uh, coast of uh, India. You can see a lot of the cloud cover there over the Indian coast. So there's probably heavy rainfall occurring there. Um, maybe some flooding occurring because the storm hasn't moved in quite some time and isn't expected to move uh, that much over the next few days or so it appears. So let's look now towards the uh, models, the CMC model here. You can see, um, let's take a look. Uh, the blue circle is the part we're interested in at the moment with the eastern Pacific. You can see MS-91 moving towards the northeast at the very start of that loop. It doesn't appear that much will happen beyond that. Um, not many of these uh, full-scale models showing much in the way of what Barbara does after it makes landfall. I must assume that it dissipates or turns to a remnant low, insignificant, um, too insignificant to show on the uh, models. The GFS does show a low-pressure system, system persisting in the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico, but probably not much coming out of that. And uh, towards the uh, nav gem now, you can see the low pressure staying over Mexico there, the heavy rains persisting over the next few days, likely for that area. Um, and doesn't make much out of Invest 91E either. 
many of the other models don't either. Um, you can see the GDFL here still um, being fairly aggressive with the storm uh, having it lingering towards the uh, Mexican coastline and then moving towards the north not too far from the um, Texas border um, and the HWRF here as well having the storm moving out to the Gulf of Mexico slightly as a remnant low before dissipating assumedly towards the end of that forecast. So now let's take a look at the overall predictor season scores as of May 30th 2013. You can see here the um, most of the positions are unchanged uh, but in first place remains Ken with 111 points, in second Typhoon Botha with, with 104 and in third Theo with 103. Many others uh, you can see in the top 10 there but I can't read them out because uh, we'd run out of time and you'd probably all be bored to death. Um, so let's take, um, so um, you can submit your storm totals at the website forcelessine.com forward slash interactive just click the 2013 predictor season button and you can submit your prediction it's not too late and won't be for quite a while yet. quite a while yet let's see what happened on this day may the 30th there's a lot of stuff here 1977 tropical storm ava dissipated in the eastern pacific and tropical depression 2 formed near the honduras nicaragua border in the eastern pacific in 1978 tropical storm aleta formed in mexico and became a category one hurricane that same day in 1981, Tropical Storm Adrian formed. In 1984, Boris Peters Category 1 storm. In 1997, Tropical Storm Levi dissipated or turned post tropical in the Western Pacific. In 1999, Tropical Storm Maggie formed in the Western Pacific. 2002, Alma Peters Category 3 storm. Um, and many more on there. I don't have time to read out, but most notably, Tropical Storm Agatha moved and dissipated over Guatemala, causing $1.1 billion of damages and 317 fatalities. 2010, Cyclone Fett formed in the North Indian Ocean. And in 2012, Beryl became post-tropical in the Atlantic. You could track all the storms out there on forcelatino.com forward slash storm tracking over this coming year and beyond. Um, and you can also find us elsewhere on the web, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13, you'll find us fairly easily. Don't forget to uh, submit a like, a follow and subscribe on the YouTube and um, become part of the growing army of subscribers. Um, very, um, very much appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, but please do stay in the loop with all the coming storms. And another update, tropical weather update coming tomorrow on May 31st.